keeping healthy is my motivation. You feel better, um, you have more energy, and it's, it's fun. At the end of the day, it's something I enjoy doing, that feeling good is a big achievement, and by, that is my motivation. On those off days, I think it's okay. Just remember your goal at the end of the day and, and get back on track as soon as you can. I try doing a little bit of everything every day, so just small things really where if you walk, perhaps do a fast walk or for breakfast I'll have something sensible, you know, porridge or fruit and just doing little things. So if I have a coffee, perhaps I won't put the sugar in, I'll put honey or perhaps just leave it as it is and I just keep trying. Staying healthy isn't always easy. Um, everybody has an off day when they want to have something perhaps isn't the best for your health. And I think you should, you should enjoy it. It shouldn't be a chore to stay healthy. So yes, I do find it a little bit hard, but I keep on track because at the end of the day, it's the best thing for you and you get the benefits from it. I think a good way to start being healthy and to get going is just simple little changes. If you have sugar in your coffee, perhaps try it without or have honey. Just little things like that all add up and help. I feel much better for making these changes. I feel more alive, I have more energy that in itself motivates you, so it's easier to, to do it the next day and the next day. And before you know it, you're into a routine and it's no longer a, a bad habit. Living a healthier lifestyle isn't going to cost you any extra money. In fact, possibly less if you're buying nice vegetables. They're probably cheaper than crisps. And time, I don't think it costs any more time either. I think it's making simple um, changes in your lifestyle, swapping a few minutes here and there to fit some more exercise in or a bit longer in the kitchen to get these things done, won't actually take you any more time. The links between cancer and lifestyle, we all have a little bit of information. I don't think I was aware just how much it can affect you. So being healthy in the short term means that in the long term you're protecting your health. So I think all the little changes help. I like the ICANN campaign. I think it gives you little tips and simple things that everybody and anybody can do if you want to. And I think you have to try it because once you try and you get started, it's not hard and then it gives you more motivation to stick with it. And in the long run, you are doing a lot for your health. I started with a healthier lifestyle after having a few injuries which stopped me from doing heavy um, exercise. So I changed that for fast walking and things that I felt would suit my age better as well as my, you know, my lifestyle. And eating was an absolute pleasure to change things. I've changed my diet personally for more of a Mediterranean diet. I'm not a big meat eater but we do have meat. I don't deprive myself of anything that I like. I just don't eat too much of it. And if I have an urge to eat something that's not healthy, I do have it and I make up for it a day later. I think in the beginning it is overwhelming because to make the simple changes seems like it's bigger than it really is. So I think it's nice to start with just simple things. So when you get up and you make your coffee or you have breakfast, if you're somebody that likes to have biscuits and toast, perhaps just have a yogurt with some fruit. So it still fills you, but it's not taking you any longer to do it. And it's better for you.